And welcome back and thank you for joining us for the second half hour of The Factor Uncensored. The debate over Cleopatra's ethnicity continues. A new docuseries about the Egyptian queen is setting off the conversation this time. The Netflix series is called African Queens with Jada Pinkett Smith in the executive producer's seat. Some people are upset over her choice to allow actress Adele James, a British half-black woman, to play the role of Cleopatra. Those who hate the docuseries say Cleopatra was not, was not black. Let's talk about it. Joining me now here on The Factor Uncensored, University of Houston downtown professor, Dr. Vida Robertson, Texas Southern University history professor, Trina Walker, and film director, Sean Welling. Glad to have you all here on The Factor Uncensored. Thank you. I don't know if you guys did any research online, but those people on YouTube and other sites are pissed off about this. They are saying <laughs> Cleopatra was not black. This is trying to, this is revisionist history. Dr. Walker, your thoughts on this, first of all? Um, so we have debates like this all the time in history. Uh, we are constantly bickering over who is what race, especially when they come from a region or a time period. Uh, we have no physical evidence or no um, written evidence of what they believe themselves to be because race is a construct and their beliefs about what they were uh, would have really made a big difference. And so we're constantly finding ourselves in these kinds of situations. And Cleopatra herself has her own legacy that is deeply uh, and profoundly argued uh, by historians, Egyptologists, anthropologists, uh, because of how significant she was to the beginning of the Roman Empire taking over and uh, the end of you know, her dynasty. So this, this argument about race, like I said, it's, it's pretty typical. It's, mm -hmm. it's pretty typical for what we do. Dr. Robertson, let's bring you into this conversation though, but for those who say she was not black, what would you tell them? Well, I would say that that's the wrong question. Right? That if, if blackness does not emerge in our lexicon until about the 17th or 18th century, to place that uh, both imagery and that uh, kind of pathology on a previous time is really a misnomer, right? Mm -hmm. So. So the way that we understand race as this indelible factor that is somehow tied to our humanity is nothing more than a lie, as my beautiful sister just pointed out. It's a construct and a myth. So to talk about what race that, that Cleopatra is, is to misunderstand both race and Cleopatra, because we are asking the wrong questions, because it does not apply at this historical moment in time. And I don't know if I've got an answer or not to Dr. Robertson, <laughs> well, so, you know, because, I mean, that's the debate. Was she of Greek ancestry or, you know, uh, was but, she Greek or but, was she? But Greek is an ethnicity. Greece right. is, a, is, a, is a region. Greece is a country. Greece is not a race. The Greeks were different than the Romans. They saw themselves as ethnically different, racially different, which are different than the Jewish populations in the Middle East or the Arabic populations that are further east, that are different than the uh, populations that are in sub-Saharan Africa. All of these are different people who never imagined themselves as black or white or anything else. Mm -hmm. And so we're really asking the wrong question. I would say a better question is, why do we think that Macedonians or Greeks are white? No Greek would have ever stood up at this moment in time at 50 BC and said, I'm a white person. That's just a lie. So the fact that we can't imagine Cleopatra, that we have such a problem with uh, 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 Miss James, uh, a beautiful melanated woman, uh, portraying her says more about our eter internalized racism right. than it does about anything that's happening on that screen. Seems like I'm gonna get an F on my <laughs> world history paper. <laughs> Sean, let's bring you into this though. What happens to a filmmaker's credibility if everyone's attacking them saying, look, this is not factual. It has a 1% approval rating right. on Rotten Tomato for Jada Pinkett Smith and the filmmakers who made this docu-series. Well, let's separate the fact that this is not a film as you see a drama played out. This is a documentary and talking about facts. Mm -hmm. uh, 
I'm a big advocator as a film director for having creative licensing to put whoever you want in whatever role you want, as long as you entertain the people that took time out to come see the film, watch the film, especially in the theater, and you're presenting somebody that can really pull off a character regardless of skin color or their background or their historical entity as far as where they came from. So, But what if you have individuals in that docu-series or documentary saying, look, I don't care what no one says, Cleopatra was black, that's it. I believe that you have the right to advocate against it as much as you have the right to support it. But we should not hate or have any demise towards the people that oppose us. And that's the most important thing. Because as everybody said, having a good debate about how we should look at this is important and healthy. Now, should we knock down the filmmakers? Should we look at the film and go, okay, it's, it should be rated at Rotten Tomatoes a 1% or 2% because we dislike what they're thinking? I think that's probably disingenuous as opposed to saying, are we entertained? Do we like it? Is it informative? And I would like to add to that that if Rotten Tomatoes is the uh, rubric by which we measure art in America, That's or even throughout the... <laughs> then we already have a substantive problem, don't well, we? Well, it came out right? earlier in the news that people were review bombing it. So people were just purposely leaving negative reviews yeah. to tank those scores. And, yeah. We had, we had a year, my wife and I would go see the lowest rated films on Rock right. Tomato, <laughs> and we would enjoy those more than the higher rated ones. That was our, that was our fight. Thank you guys for joining us here on The Factor. Still ahead.